Here's a quick video for the Mazda and the SLP we do for that. Uh, and some of the, the notes and tricks I've seen with the Mazdas. So if we're gonna have a standard turn key, a key, we're going to cut and then program the Smart Pro, or we can clone it with an X-Horse. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now, if we have a combo key like this, we want to not cut it first. We want to do the remote. Remote, and that could be Smart Pro or manual. Depends on the year. Then we cut and program the chip and that key blade. So you have a first step and a second step. Cool. Make sure it works. Also for Mazda, it's a very particular. It has to have the same button sequence. It has to be a three button or four button. Don't mix and match. It's just very finicky when you do that. And pretty straightforward and simple. Now when you have the push start, same thing. You want to make sure it's a three button or four button. Don't mix match. And you're going to notice there are some Mazdas out there that are kind of like that Nissan Prox twist. So you want to make sure you're doing the right one. Inspect the vehicle, match their key, and proceed. Now before we jump too far, sometimes a customer will have just this key, but they want this. You need to look at the thickness. For some Mazdas, there's like this weird collar. And like same thing for older Fords, where you have the, say this is the ignition cylinder or the column, and you need this collar that the key slides in so you can twist and you, or you can grab the whole thing and twist but a key like this will not fit so that's where you have to kind of like look and say okay that's not going to fit you can either a pop that off or drop that sail just so you don't cause damage you're not going to be taking apart their steering column to make a key work which never worked in the first place on their vehicle sometimes the customer will say yeah yeah i got that it, there's no way when that collar is there for it to fit so watch out for things like that. That's why you would program the remote first. Oh, the remote, the vehicle doesn't even accept that. Well, there's your sign. For the push starts, these are pretty simple. Follow, Smart Pro. And most of them are a 10 minute process where it's gonna be looking for the pin and then you have to wait for the horn to honk. Honk, honk. Um, so for this, use your phone and set a 10 minute timer. Uh, cause sometimes the vehicle will honk, sometimes it doesn't. If the horn is not working or the computer doesn't work or the smart pro doesn't work, you wait 10 minutes, then hit the okay button and proceed. And then you're good. Say if it's a Mazda 270 smart key, uh, sometimes it throws that error light on the dash. What you do is you erase Erase keys and add back in, and then you're good. That's a simple solution. So the push charts are pretty straightforward. Just follow the Smart Pro. You wait 10 minutes, reset your timer for 10 minutes, it honks, and pretty simple. The big thing is program the remote first before you get started, and then you're good. And if you guys are curious on how to cut these, I have a video on the channel make sure you subscribe and like so you can see those and it's pretty simple thanks for watching